So in this example, I want to do a really quick introduction to printf and C because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. And I'm also going to use Ubuntu for Windows to do this example, just to give you an idea of how that works as well. I have the code examples repo for this class cloned on my D drive in this develop directory. And I've already gotten to that directory in Explorer here. So let's see how we get to there from Ubuntu. So I'm going to CD to change the directory slash MNT, which is short for mount, which is how Unix keeps track of where drives are. Give it the drive letter. And once I've done that, I'm at the D drive. So now I can CD to Devel. And from there, CD to code examples, C, and then I'll put this in C0. Now, if I do an LS, you can see the same files here that you see over here. The LS command lists all the files in the current directory. To create an empty file, I can just use the touch command and I'll touch printf.c. And you'll see that that shows up in my Windows Explorer. And now I can open that up with the editor of my choosing. And it doesn't matter what editor you use as long as it's an actual text editor. Let's talk about how printf works. So suppose I have an integer and we'll just call this num and we'll set it to be, we'll set it to be 24. So to print that number, I'll say printf num equals, and in, in the output string, to indicate that I want to put a integer number here, I'll say percent D. This is called a control sequence. And what will happen is once I'm complete this string, I'll list all the values that'll fill those numbers. I can say num here and it will print. Now I also don't want to, I want to have a new line at the end. So I do need to give it the new line character, which is backslash n. So let's compile this GCC standard equals C11. All warnings, pedantic. printf.c, and then I run it with a.out, and you can see that num is equal to 24. Now, this is just an expression that would be evaluated because I could do something like percent %d plus percent %d is equal to percent %d, and I could say 7, 3, and then 7 plus 3. And if I come over to compile that, it says 7 plus 3 equals 10. So the first integer is 7, the second integer is 3, the last integer is 7 plus 3, it actually will evaluate things here before it actually prints them out. Now, one other thing you need to be aware of with C is that different control sequence gives different output. So if I say printf int, or I'll just say num, and I'm going to print it out three ways as an as a decimal integer, as an octal integer, and as a hexadecimal integer. And I'll say num for each of the three places. I'm going to print num, so I'll print it as a decimal, an octal, and a hexadecimal. Again, I'll save my file. And you can see num is equal to 28, 30, which 3 times 8 is 24. So 30 is 24 in octal. And 18, 16 plus 8 is 24. 18 is 24 in hexadecimal. Now, I, I haven't converted this value because it's just a it's just a number. It's always going to be binary. And so the only thing that's happening here is, is how I actually print that out gets changed. Suppose I have a floating point number. So here's my floating point number. So if I print F num2, I'll use percent %f and pass num2 as the number or as the, the value to use there. And you can see that it prints the number out. I can also say point to
and you can see now it just prints two decimal places. So I can format the numbers. I can say printf num1. Or actually, let me do a decimal place here. And I'm going to print percent %10d num. And I'll print f num2. And I'll say percent %20.3f. And that'll be num2. So for this case, notice there's a 10, not a decimal. There's no decimal point. It's just 10 D that says print a number in a 10 space wide column. This says in a 20 space wide column with three decimal points, print this floating point number. So there you go. You can see that we have the odd formatting here. And then one last thing. And we've already seen the new line. But if, if I want to put a tab, I'll just say tab, dash T, tab, dash T, tab, dash T, new line, or let's do a tab. Then we'll say dash in, new line, dash in, dash T, new line, slash in. And if we print this out, notice there's no white space at all in that actual string. But when I run this, there's tabs in between the word tab, and then there's a new line before each new line, including this one has a tab stop in front of it. So just some different things you can use to format your printf statements. You may want to see the notes from some, for some additional gotchas.